Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Have you ever had your Victron DC-DC charger get so damn hot that you think the cables are starting to melt? If so, stay tuned for this one. Okay, welcome to my VW Crafter. It's a 21 year model and the Victron gear is in the back, so let's go. Okay, so we're underneath the bed at the moment. I've got water on this side, electrical and batteries on this side. So this is where the Victron gear is. Today's project is to try and cool down the Victron DC to DC 30 amp charger that's in the back of the van here. What I have tried to do is use the DC DC charger to run the van um, motor to charge up the batteries for an hour or two to just top them up. And this came, um, this problem came to a head uh, last week when it was stinking hot and we weren't actually in the van much so the van was uh, closed up and I had the engine running for a couple of hours <clears throat> came out and went hello something's not working here and worked out that the DC DC charger was basically going into fault every few seconds um, it would charge then cut out charge cut out uh, and give us basically no charge so uh, I touched the uh, outside of the box and it was stinking hot. So both of these will have thermal switches on them. Going to a voltage regulator and fans, little uh, blower fans. And I've made up a couple of 3D printed uh, ducting uh, pipes to focus the, the blower fans onto the underside of these fins here. This has got the double sided tape on it and I've just got the motor sitting in there which oh stuck on already okay let's try that again okay I've got to line him up and press now, I don't want to press too hard in the center of my 3d print otherwise it might break okay so that's on um, and then this little motor just slips into the opening okay drill incoming one hole i think what i'll have to do is screw that in for starters so I don't move. Okay, one in. Mm -hmm. That should get me started. Good. First duct. On. Okay, next duct, double sided and sticky, and oh, very sticky, line him up, about there, mm -hmm. This little thing, he's got the go in there. Done. I really like working with the signboard material. It's a composite. It's got an aluminium, thin aluminium surface on the front and the back, with um, like a ABS material in the centre core. Uh, you can bend it, you can easily cut it and snap it, it's great. Okay, so that's my two fans. So here you can see the uh, the two blowers and the ducting. Um, on the right hand side I've got a square cut out into the backing board which um, goes into the cavity of the van. 
and I'm going to do the same on the left hand side as well so it can all breathe a little bit easier so what I've done here is I've got uh, a little wiring harness where I have three attachments so one for each of the little blowers and this one is for the existing um, computer fan but I could also do another Y um, black and red Y off this one to drive further uh, fans so just uh, a little bit of future proofing there um, I'm actually going to have the thermal switches on the um, input side um, that way I can have all all the fans come on um, when one thermal switch is triggered so rather than having individual thermal fans being triggered um, so that's the way I've decided to go uh, I will have two thermal switches but if either one of them gets triggered, um, all the fans will come on. So I'll, I'll show you a post-it note sketch of what I've got in mind for that. they join the circuit works if that one joins the circuit works okay and that goes to the battery good if anyone's wondering here's the diagram Something I forgot to mention was with these um, thermal switches, this, this face here is going to be uh, touching whatever gets hot. Okay, in, in my case, it's an aluminium heatsink. But you want that to be a good connection, a good, um, good contact. If, the, if it's slightly, if it's not touching the whole surface, then it's not going to transfer the heat. So you have a couple of options. You can use thermal paste. Uh, which you might have seen in your computers um, where circuit boards have their heat sinks uh, connected with thermal paste it's a silvery looking stuff um, or these little thermal pads um, which is what I'm going to use um, and you just peel these off and stick them on they're very flexy you can see that it's super flexy and soft and it's kind of malleable but I'll just stick that on there and then when that gets squashed onto the aluminium it'll make a good um, thermal c conductor. Uh, the other option is if you can't find these I think I got these on eBay 20 years ago <coughs> uh, you can go down to JCAR and buy yourself a, uh, a square sheet of it and cut it to size so that's probably the, um, the quickest option for most is to go down to JCAR and grab that. Um, you're only going to need one centimetre by one centimetre square pretty much um, to uh, give it that little bit of um, connection. So then that'll get screwed to the um, aluminium. So that's where I'm at. Okay then, so that's it. It's done. Um, it's not real pretty but basically you've got the DC DC charger, the solar MPPT, um, both with uh, thermal switches on them up there, and uh, that switch then triggers the input power from the battery, the house battery, going in. So this voltage regulator only has power when they get hot. Uh, that way, you don't have an LED burning away the whole time. Um, so it, it only becomes active when these thermal switches click in 
and then both these blower fans um, fire up and using the ducting direct the air behind the back of the units through the um, cooling fins the heat sinks and um, pushing the bulk of the air uh, through the timber cavity that we've got as the walls um, to the uh, skin of the van so yeah that's uh, that's it it uh, it's a bit fiddly in there but uh, I think it'll work pretty good okay well thanks for watching um, it's been a little bit fiddly I've had a lot of interruptions today uh, probably could have done it in about two three hours but um, visitors and all that sort of thing anyway thanks for watching if you got this far and if you have any questions on this or anything else um, that I've made in the past leave a comment below thanks great